We are back with more Ask the Financial Expert this morning. Kim Peavy from Max Credit Union is in studio with us this morning. We're going to go straight back to the phone lines. We have Darlene from Montgomery. Darlene, go ahead with your question. Yes, um, I'm a 70-year-old retired state employee, and I was fortunate enough to get into the drop account. And I needed to know, do I need to start pulling some of my money out of my drop account? I have my Social Security and my retirement that I live on, and I'm, I don't have any car payments, and I really don't have any outstanding bills as far as credit cards or anything. So I need to know. Do, my friends keep telling me, I, and I have, I don't have any children to worry about leaving money to. So should I start pulling out some of my money and using it? Well, that's a great question. Um, obviously, it's your money. It's in retirement. And if you want to enjoy it, you know, I say go right ahead. It sounds like you've got a, a lot of good sources of income. Uh, if it's a retirement account, you're not required to start drawing on it to age 73. They changed the RMD laws recently. Uh, but if it's a non-retirement account, you can kind of leave it alone as long as you want. It's there available to you. So it's just kind of a personal preference. If you want to, like you said, you had no heirs. Uh, if you want to start using it and enjoying it, uh, now's a good time to, to be doing doing that. But again, um, you know, I, you're not really required to draw on any retirement accounts until age 73. You can't take it with you. You need to save for a rainy day, but that, that's right. Can't take it, enjoy it, it too. That's why I tell people it's there because you it represents a part of your life you gave away to build it up. And so enjoy it. Uh, but if you want to gift it to someone or or I know uh, some of my clients have given it to non for profits that they really feel strongly for. Uh, that's a great way to to fund those uh, ministries and organizations out there. You've received a lot of questions you said about dividends recently about whether you should reinvest those and what exactly you should do with the dividend. Yeah, you know, dividends, um, a lot of investments, your money markets, uh, stocks and so forth uh, do pay dividends. And some people say, should I just be collecting those dividends? Should I reinvest it? It goes back to what your strategy is. If you're in retirement, if you're withdrawing off your investments, you probably don't want to reinvest those dividends. You want to live off your dividends. If it's more something you don't need or you've got a while to retirement, the market's been down. It's a great time to be buying back into the market at that dollar cost averaging of those dividends. So it goes back to what's the overall strategy of the money. Is it more long term? Is it short term? That kind of dictates uh, whether or not you should be reinvesting those dividends. Let's go back to the phone lines. We have Gloria now in Montgomery. Gloria, go ahead with your question. Uh, my question is uh, regarding investing in the CDs at this point with the interest rates going up. The question I get all the time is, when should I lock it down? Should I leave it in the money market? How much the Fed's going to go up? Um, again, you know, my advice is uh, I would not lock into anything real long term. Uh, there, there's some great uh, short term, what I mean by short term, less than two years out there, CDs. Uh, some banks and credit unions are offering specials right now. Uh, so I would talk to your financial institution, see what kind of short term options they may have. Um, again, don't want to lock up your money long term, but, but CD rates are getting very attractive right now. Again, going back to we've been in an environment of low interest rates for so long, uh, CD rates have just been horrible. Now they're getting back to more normal. And again, it goes back to that strategy of what's the purpose of the money. Um, if you don't have a good money market alternative, lock it into a CD earning three and a half, four percent or maybe more may be a good option for you. It's a very safe investment. Yeah, they're, they're FDIC up to a certain amount. Um, but again, they, they are considered the, the most conservative investments out there. Let's go to Mary now in Tuskegee. Mary, what is your question for Ken? Did, uh, I just want to know, I, no, maybe I should know, but do credit union, I mean, is that in, interest paid on your money in, if you put, put it in credit union? Yes, so credit unions and banks, uh, they're, they're both financial institutions, so they offer uh, interest-bearing accounts just like banks do. Uh, credit unions fall under NCUA insurability, while banks fall under FDIC uh, insurability. But as far as it paying interest on your accounts, credit unions offer the very similar products as banks do. Ken, thank you so much for your advice today. Where can folks go to learn more? Yeah, a couple of places. You can go to our website, mymax.com. Uh, click on Wealth Management, access to us there. Go to any one of our Max branches or call our customer service number at 260-2600. Uh, Thank you again. We appreciate it. Thank